there's always those things that you don't forget. For me, it was a little over three decades ago, sophomore in high school. I was in art class. And we had to do a painting and we could enter it into a contest. I remember painting this desolate red and orange desert-like landscape. It had like a spring crystal pond with some trees, no leaves. Everything was desolate. Some rocks and mountains in the background. Out of however many thousands were entered in the state of Alabama, somehow mine was picked to hang in the state capitol in Montgomery, Alabama. It's the only time I've been to the state capitol. I do remember it being really weird. Like something didn't add up. Unfortunately, I lost that painting a few years after that. But now this is my art. Thanks for being here. And let's look at a way over the top cover up. <laughs> be looking at a place called Copake Ironworks Furnace, a great boots on the ground share by Aaron. This is in the New York area and one of the more unbelievable cover-ups of the old world called refurbishing, if you want to call it that. Let's just do a quick search and see what we can find here. First, this, this is really catchy here, established in 1845. All right, let's see if we can find how long this was in service. Not seeing anything here. All right, let's drift into this one. Here looks like they put the brick on over the existing brick. Down here and established. There's that word again. 1845. Okay. 1903. Okay, so it operated from 1848 to 1903. All right, let's just drift down here. Established 2008. This group here, State Park, has accomplished much important preservation work at the site. Okay, so it was around 2008 or so that they started preserving the site. Well, they say preserve, and I'm all for preserving a site, but this is way overboard. So interesting, one paragraph established here. Okay, so that's a group that was formed together, right? And then you have this furnace was established in 1845. Nothing says about building it, but we're assuming that's, you know, when it was built. So we have another established down here. They didn't build anything. Hmm. This is a furnace I visited a while back. Just want to compare the furnace in New York. But here, this is Civil War era they say a little bit before when it was built they've got this huge roofing over it to protect it i think they did it around 2006 or so but whatever i mean i don't understand why you would ever do that spend that money it's been sitting here forever to begin with but whatever and personally i get on board with the whole roof thing but don't touch this right here. Just imagine if they did something like this to this guy right here. Where you wouldn't be able to tell anything from old to new. You can see the original block work and obviously all this is original from whatever. Old Worlder. So you come in here 
and you brick it all up. Here's a cylinder right there of the furnace, and it's gone. They completely covered it all up. And then, not only did they do that, but then they put this crappy looking block work or whatever all the way around it. If I had to guess, it's probably cinder blocks or something, and then they concreted it over, but I have no idea. But all I give you left is this little top up here. And this is one of the more infuriating ones I've ever seen. As far as it doesn't matter what you think. If you're an historian, a researcher, on any level, any narrative, what you want to think. And you do this to it. It's not even the same. This is just insane to me. I, I can't believe, I mean, I can't believe, because we see what they do, all the old world buildings, destroy them, cover them up, put crappy architecture all around them. But this is just nuts. Two completely different things now. And this is how they confuse your eyes and the mind years down the road. You, you won't even know probably this this picture might not even exist maybe they just have this i'll tell you whatever the hell they want to tell you this was before all the refurbishing or whatever to the furnace and there's no gate or anything around it leave this you don't cover it here's a shot of where they just they did the brickwork on top of the existing brick, covered here. And I guess at a later time, I came back and blocked it up all the way up here. You can only see a quarter of it when you're visiting. Read the signs and look at new work. <laughs> let's, not, let's not let anybody see what it actually was or could be. Let's just cover the whole thing up another angle this is uh the boots on the ground from aaron as i said before uh credible pictures but every side is like this it goes all the way around the block work originally was only one two i think it was three three high they added two three four they added seven why some of the inside here this is all new brick there and some of this might have been original this one layer of brick i don't know but they have totally destroyed it to me and i wanted to highlight this place just so everybody can see when you go somewhere and are you thinking to yourself okay was this all original did they refurbish it what is new and what is old and and here you can you can really see the difference uh, what was there and what was not but just by standing back and looking at it just to the normal eye I guess you probably would never know unless you read that they they did all this to the structure this building was interesting to me and you have these which have these on all kind of different old world buildings, but this one's kind of flaring out. And the bottom of this, some might think, well, they this was all deteriorated and they just slammed all this in here, but that doesn't make any sense because all you have to do is just get a few more bricks and patch it up. This is not a patch job, it looks like to me. This... This is damaged from a major heat cataclysm. It has changed the building, the structure, changes the state of matter, and this is what you have here on this one corner. I really want to talk about this. I haven't been there. These are actual boots on the ground, but okay. Let's say this was laying there, and they didn't want it. maybe it goes down. 
below uh, ground level. And they're trying to seal it up because this piping's too heavy or something. Well, you would just put a gate or something there, right? What What is going on here? I have no idea. But possibly the structure around the piping melting whenever it did. Destruction. And this is what you have left. Kind of flooding out. Per se, just an opinion. All right, so I'm really trying to get this narrative thing down about. Okay, this is built around 1845, and you're gonna you're gonna throw all this together like this, and then you'll have some brick below it and some stonework blocks. What? Why would you? ever do that that's just <laughs> i just have to laugh sorry so this is what we see today the covering up of the old world with their crap hiding history real history they don't want us to know where we're at where we're from a complete mind wipe and if you are new to the channel, I'm in the mindset of all these old worlders looked way more magnificent than what we're seeing here. And there was some kind of an intense heat cataclysm, which melted the buildings. So what are we looking at here? Looks like a building. Of course, it's cheap probably be gone in 10, 20 years as part at least, maybe the whole thing. It looks like this building has come down, like an interpretation. The architecture is very suspicious with these kind of things right here. Another one seeming to fold in, just an interpretation. I'm not saying that's what happened here. It was the architecture was built like this, but why? Look, it's salt columns. <laughs> it is really a shame what they've done to this place. Put this class architecture, just slap it right in the middle here of the old world. Gut it and put this crap in it. Looks like a crumbling building falling down. They're putting it right in our face. What it seems like, here's the melt line down here. It's just an interpretation that I'm saying. And they're slapping it in your face. This building is falling on the old world. The new world covering the old. Why? Crap, crap, crap. All this is crap. If they ever do redo this again, they need to tear all this up right here. Tear these flags down. You're done. Like some of these things are just totally ridiculous. It's on purpose, but something that can't be destroyed unless you really work hard at it. And they slap this on top of it. We've lost so much. And then they just keep doing it. Why wouldn't you continue to build like this? Now we're just going to put all this crap on top of it. Laugh at everybody. What happened? These were train stations, town halls, library schools. Don't worry about any of this stuff. I know we can't build it anymore, so we're just going to go from magnificence to a slum, basically. On this side. I'm going to end it here with some killer previous boots on the ground by Tom Kairos. This one of the many old world destroyed places I've ever seen. Nobody's ever done it. Nobody's ever videoed anything like this. 
as far as this area. Really just showing this again to maybe inspire people to get out there, video, take pictures of what most people don't see. Obviously something's happened to this place. Walk and live on tops of ruins. Structure that has been destroyed somehow. So cheers to all you researchers and watchers out there. And peace within. Till next time.